Hello everyone, this is Ox Bigley. Uh, even though I have 50 something subscribers on YouTube, I'm pretty sure this video is only going to get about 3 views total. Uh, regardless, for those of you who have craps worth giving, I am currently uh, editing a reaction slash review style video that I am still have no idea what I'm going to call it. Either reaction slash review or sort of the because of the nature of it. Anytime I usually watch a bad movie, specifically horror movies, um, usually have a couple of beers. Not a whole lot. I don't get blasted. I, I like my liver. I don't want to try to destroy it in, in one go. So, <clears throat> you know, I could call it alcohol horror. Uh, my in initial intention was to do like a Skype chat and have, you know, other people film in the middle and have, like, you know, other users uh, on in the corners. Maybe people from Manic or whoever else decides they want to do it. And, you know, sort of like a, cr a cross between a regular reaction review uh, video and, like, what uh, who is it? Blame Society does is beer and board games. So, sort of a cross between the two of that. Um, however, I couldn't get anybody to do this. I tried post making a post on Manic. Hopefully, if anybody sees this and you're interested, hey, you know, contact me. I have uh, got the Twitters, I got the uh, the Facebooks, I've got all that stuff. So um, on Instagram also. So look me up. I'm there somewhere. <clears throat> so with that said, uh, the movie itself is. Uh, Oh, I'll go ahead and spoil what this meg. It's called Society. I think it's from 1989. And it stars the guy who played Eddie from Baywatch. If you don't know who that is, go watch Obscurus Lupa's Baywatching. Coffee's done. Uh, a series of videos. Her, video, her videos. And you'll see who, who Billy Warlock actually is. Um, so, that's going to be coming up probably in the next week or so um, I want to at least have at least have two of the reaction review episodes done before I uh, I upload them just so that way I can actually start having a regular release schedule that's one thing that I hate I don't have is a regular release schedule because I'm usually doing um, the only thing I really do is I eat weird crap videos, which I haven't had enough, haven't had the extra cash to be going around buying weird stuff. I did, however, buy something that I'm really only got for the sake of the joke, and was gonna throw onto the on the vine, and, and it's uh, a bottle of Shack Fu Grape Punch. You know, that's just gonna like crack it open, take a sip, of it and go nah. Tastes like a bad video game. <laughs> So, there's that. Uh, <coughs> pardon. Early morning, still... <coughs> things going on. Anyway. <coughs> Dang. I'm not re-recording. This is like the third time I started this video. I'm not going to do it again. Anyway. <coughs> Dang. <coughs> okay, now I'm talking. I have a backlog of bad movies that I picked up. Horror movies kids movies whatever I've, there's a backlog there so I figure what the smeg I'll do a bunch of these I, I, when I worked at for Walmart at for Walmart is yes. when I worked for them and at them directly at them uh, they they had a lot of um, like 20 in one DVD sets of uh, horror movies or it's like a bunch of crap either A that you've never heard of in your entire life or B uh, that is um, like Molitorium or, or Public Domain and stuff like that so you had like uh, the original Little Shop of Horrors I've had I've watched that already it's okay I still like the musical version better um, and then you had like stuff like uh, the original Night of the Living Dead so that, yeah actual stuff and then there's like things that nobody's ever heard of like diner because puns and I, you know, I like a good pun but when it's not done right it's it's not very punny so 
Okay, that was bad. See, that's an example. <laughs> bad puns put the put the put the bad use. So this was D-I-E dash N-E-R. And then underneath it, on the box, it says, get it? Because they, if, if the movie was suck, okay, I might actually, uh, it's, it's too boring. Okay, it would have been great if I would have done it as a video or a reaction review video. But it's too boring. I do not, I will not sit through it again. And the thing is, I'm going to do this, uh, movies blind. <clears throat> Never seen them before in my life. Unless I can get the other three people in on it then I can do you know then I can do movies that I've seen and I can inflict them on people see that then there's fun because <laughs> I have a few movies that I would like to do that with only because uh, either a that they're good and when they can be made fun of and they can be made f better by making fun of them uh, or just movies I know that suck <laughs> Um, for instance, one of them would be the Black Cougar, or Black Cougar, I think it's called. Um, and no, it's not the kind of movie you think it is, internet jerks. Uh, dirty money jerks. It's a superhero movie, and all I have to do, all I have to say is look up, uh, American Inventor and Black Cougar. You will see the, probably the best trailer that this movie ever has. And if you can, if you can get behind this guy's um, personality, which I did, got me curious. Y years later, I finally got the film off of Amazon, and I highly suggest it. And I really, really wish there was more copies of this floating around. <clears throat> right now, there's only I think I've only seen like a couple, of, literally a couple of copies of it on Amazon. The only place I know to find it. It's a great movie. It is probably one of the best So Bad It's Good movies that I've seen in a long time. It's it's an amateur film, and it shows, but it shows brilliantly. But this is one of the kind of movies I wish I can, again, if I had two other, three other people, and, and a way to record off of the internet and do Skype or something to that effect. Um, anyway, so if anybody has suggestions for that or how I can go about doing that, and please, by all means, uh, let me know. If uh, alcohol horror sounds like something you want to get it, get into and, and, and be a part of, if you're part of Manic Expression, sadly at the, at the moment I you know if you're a member of Manic Expression, I'm more susceptible to actually have you on board. If you're not, join Manic, be around for a while. It's just I I want to interact with people that I I can trust. Uh, I don't want to start you know sharing Skype names and whatever else because then. So crap happened. So anyway, um, so I figured maybe a couple people from Manic, if if you're interested, you know, shoot me a shoot me a line, see what happens. But anyway, <clears throat> for now it's only going to be me with the camera on doing reaction reviews of movies I haven't seen yet. Uh, so it, it's gonna when it does pop up, it'll be called reaction slash review. Alcor with Ox Bigley. And I can't come up with a better name. And if you can, if you can, when it gets, when it comes out, as you can think of a better name, post it uh, as a response or uh, as a comment on a video. I've rambled on long enough. It's almost eight minutes. Uh, my coffee's getting cold. It is too early in the morning for me to be making a video <laughs> update, but. Here it is, and if you stayed all the way to the end of this nine-minute video, do me a favor. Use the word Skippy. Why? Because. <laughs> if you've actually watched if you've actually watched this video at all uh, up to this point, um, I'm stealing things from Boogie now. Oh, man. I would love to be able to interview that man one day. Anyway, <clears throat> I will see you uh, whenever I upload that video in about another couple weeks. So, hope you enjoy it. Spent a lot of time doing it. Uh, hopefully, the next movie I do, uh, I'll have all the kinks worked out of recording. So, I ran into a little bit of issue with doing this one. Okay, almost at 10 minutes. So, uh, with that said, bye.